This is program two in our brand new series, St. Lucia Global. We continue to highlight the many opportunities that are opening up for the members of the St. Lucian creative sector. I am Naima Fasua with today's edition. Avenues are being created in the United Kingdom and Europe for entrepreneurs in the creative sector who are seeking international markets for their goods and services. The St. Lucia High Commission hosted one event designed to connect St. Lucian creators with business interests in the United Kingdom. Also, we will attempt to find out the market realities for producers of Caribbean content. This will better prepare Caribbean producers for what lies ahead. And popular theatre group Chekapesh is making good on an opportunity to export its brand of comedy to the United States and soon to France via Martinique. We'll hear from the group leader, Carlton Cyril, shortly. We've seen Bob Marley as an international artist and our very own Derek Walcott winning a Nobel Prize for Literature. The market is out there for our creative talents, but how do we take advantage of the opportunities in Europe, the Americas and beyond? We will look at this issue from two perspectives. First, the business angle and later, from the experiences of Caribbean film and television content producers. First, the St. Lucia Commission in the United Kingdom hosted a business forum organized by Carib Direct International Business Network. It attracted persons representing government, the private sector, including the creative industries. Here is an idea of the issues raised at the forum at the St. Lucia Mission. This is the first Carib Direct International Business Network uh, function which is based on the theme of St. Lucia. We are basically facilitators of business, lifestyle, trade and, and so on. So we thought that the natural progression from what we do would be business networks because many of the people on our database are businesses, are entrepreneurs, are captains of industry from one discipline to another. The Caribbean is a place that most of us love, and I believe that's the, the, the core reason why many of you are here today. And we believe that this platform, over a period of time, will engender a lot of cross-cultural business opportunities among CIBM members and guests that will yield tangible benefits, commercial benefits, uh, over a period of time, both here and in the Caribbean. Excellencies, specially invited guests, permit me to present to you Opportunities to invest in St. Lucia. Investing in St. Lucia, in a sense, is about selling brand St. Lucia, having free components. The St. Lucia Tourist Board selling St. Lucia to visitors. Tipa, and you'll see two of Tipa signs here, the Taste of St. Lucia campaign, selling the products, the exports of St. Lucia, the food products um, and other commodity products internationally. And Invest St. Lucia selling to investors that St. Lucia is an investment destination of of choice. It's about partnerships and joint ventures and really coming together. A lot of other nations, they do it. In 2010, I knew there was lack of Caribbean representation on British TV and I decided to challenge the daily norms of the mass mind operating on faith alone and not sight. Now, a Caribbean comedy drama was created called All About the Mackenzies. This show is about inspiring, innovative thinking. It's about giving those new ideas of possibility, hope, self-responsibility, anything that is just completely positive and universal truth. Okay, um, so what we want to make clear is that our company name is Caribbean Media House and we're presenting Jam TV. And as it's been said a few times, we've actually launched already. We started on Saturday the 3rd of May. So I'm hoping that some of you in the audience have actually heard about it um, so that you've got a nice good question or a couple of questions for us. Our aim is to provide authentic Caribbean programs that we've got directly from the Caribbean. Some of you who may have watched it would see that at the moment it's predominantly Jamaican content. However, the company name is Caribbean Media House, meaning we do want to venture out to other islands. We have to start small because this is the first time that it's an authentic Caribbean content on our television. And we have gone through many challenges to get to this point. I thought the event this evening was absolutely fantastic, very informative. 
It was lovely to meet with all the other entrepreneurs here. We've exchanged phone numbers. It was absolutely amazing. I learned so much information about how to, um, you know, investment in St. Lucia, who to contact. You have to commend David a lot for what he's doing with Carib Direct. And it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing to raise awareness about investment in, in St. Lucia, not just St. Lucia, but the entire Caribbean community. It was just refreshing to see all the opportunity that's available. It was refreshing to see the number of entrepreneurs that were in the room and also the diversity amongst the people that were in the room. Me personally, I've had an amazing time. I've really connected with people. I've connected with Mal here and her, um, her business, her ha hairdressing business. And this is what we need to do. We need to connect, we need to network and we need to uplift each other. Yeah, I thought today was a wonderful event. Great. Um, it covered a, a particularly important subject in the current economic climate that the Caribbean is going through. Um, I'm from St. Lucia, so there was a great interest for me to actually see um, you know, some of the opportunities there are. Oh, definitely I want to be involved in CIBN. I'll be coming to all their events again, for sure. And I'm going to join up as a member, and I think it's a great thing that they're doing in pulling us all together, and I think we need more of that so that we can begin to work together. Also addressing the Carib Direct networking session was the Chief Executive Officer of Invest St. Lucia, Mikhail Andrew, who spoke of the many opportunities for investment in St. Lucia. Mikhail Andrew, Chief Executive Officer of Invest St. Lucia, which is the official investment promotion agency of the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. I want to congratulate David Roberts and the Carib Direct International Business Network for the initiative in trying to bring together potential investors, entrepreneurs, the diaspora, the Caribbean diaspora, and business leaders in St. Lucia as well as in other Caribbean islands and the wider diaspora. We are mandated to facilitate the increasing flows of investment into St. Lucia for the purpose of generating economic growth and increased economic activity, which would in turn help to transform the economies uh, of the various Caribbean islands, in particular in St. Lucia, and to also have a transformative effect on the welfare of the people of St. Lucia. So we want to associate with that initiative that CIBN has instituted and we want to first of all um, endorse um, any measure, any cogent measure aimed at meeting that objective. But there is also the issue of the ancillaries of tourism, the culinary offerings, the cultural products, the fashion and the offerings that are authentic um, and reflective of the enterprise, the heritage, and the culture of St. Lucia. We believe that those opportunities need to be explored. Uh, those opportunities are real. In some instances, we have uh, improved the offering by doing the requisite analysis and research um, to zoning on what exactly is required. There is a lot more information to share with you on opportunities in the United Kingdom for persons working within the creative sector. In future programs, we will speak with two St. Lucians who are doing tremendous work in the creative sector in Europe. Stay tuned, this is St. Lucia Global. We will be back shortly. Lucia Marseille, Bonte. every Thursday, St. Lucia, this Thursday and every Thursday from 5 to 11 p.m., Miku Beach comes alive! Seafood, music, dance, poetry, your fashion, live performances, and more! This Thursday and every Thursday, 5 to 11 p.m., Miku Beach, it's bottom! Come see, come sample, come taste, yes, it's true! Everything's sweeter, down in Miku. Belty shop, any? Very pretty. Hello, how are you? Hi, good day. 
How may I be of assistance? I'm looking for some wicker items, yes? Some hats, some bags, and perhaps some table mats. Do you have any of those? Ah, I'm so sorry, my mm. lady, but we don't have any straw mats. However, we do have some local pottery pieces, if you're interested. You don't have any? Well, say about what more. I don't know anyone who's producing these type of products. Musicians, designers, dancers, crafters, writers, have you taken action to put yourself or your business on the map? The Ministry of Tourism, Heritage and Creative Industries and the Cultural Development Foundation have launched the Cultural Mapping Project so we can map it to tap it. The cultural map will identify and promote our cultural and arts resources, making it easier for people to do business with you, as well as help development agencies and government understand the needs of the industry. So who should register? All traditional and contemporary individual artists, groups, cultural organizations, creative businesses, events, historical and cultural sites, resource centers, training facilities, promoters, managers, service providers who work in arts, culture, and creative industry. To get yourself mapped, head over to the Cultural Development Foundation at Barnard Hill in Cass Street today, or download the Android app from the Google Play Store. It's our culture. Map it to tap it. Look out for Team Map It in your community. You want to know what's so special about creative industries? I have a friend. She stays at home and gets orders on her phone. She gets on the bus, goes to the beach, takes a stick. Then she writes in the sand, so and so loves so and so, or will you marry me whoever? Or if someone wants to advertise their company with an authentic tropical background and they are in winter somewhere around the world, she takes the picture. They pay her online like 10 US a picture. So if she does 10 pictures a day and goes to the beach five days a week, that's over five grand a month. No pollution, no office, no stress. Creative, innovative. But that's what creative industries is about. My loving far eye with you by my side Our love will never die We continue our focus on the Carib Direct International Business Network. It is an organization seeking to boost contacts between our creative sector and the Caribbean diaspora in the United Kingdom. Here is David Roberts, the founder of Carib Direct, explaining what the organization is about. Now, just to give you a bit of background of Carib Direct, we've been going just about five years now. We started as an online portal which basically links the Caribbean region with the Caribbean diaspora through intellectual writings and, and blogs and what have you. And that has since morphed into doing events that are pretty much trade and investment focused and we're working with high commissions to ensure that we help them in some way to reach their investment and trade goals. As you may know, those of you who are following Caribbean um, information on, on the economy and, and such like, the Caribbean is going through a very difficult period at this time, so they can use all the help that they can get. Persons who are creating content such as films, documentaries, music, and other entertainment-related products should pay attention to this next segment. It is a discussion about the challenges of getting Caribbean content on mainstream media in the United Kingdom. On the panel are people who have been in the mainstream media sharing their experiences and giving advice to young producers. We have put this event together um, as a collaboration, and that's one of the things that Carib Direct uh, are noted for. We do things working with people who understand our vision and basically what we want to achieve this evening is a common understanding of where we are in relation to the visibility that we have on British television. Um, it has been argued that there is no case that we are being in some way represented on British television but our issue is not the fact that we are on British television but how it is we are represented. Since my show came off air in 2002, there has not been another young black man or woman to have their own show on a terrestrial network. That's not because of lack of talent. That's because they're not looking no more. And, what, and, I, and it, it's a shame because it seems as if, because now we have you know, satellite, which is great, but it seems as if the, the mainstream is saying, well, you've got those mediums, so now we can cut off ours. 
And I think that you can make things diverse if you give people what we're all about. We're not just, you know, what the media makes us out to be. And the only way you're going to do it is to film the stuff yourself, get people in high positions to come together who can make things happen. It, things are starting to change, but things are starting to change because people are taking it upon themselves to see that it's a global market and to go out to America <coughs> and actually uh, find roles in the States in order for them to actually come over here to get big lead roles or big TV shows around them. Um, it's also the responsibility of broadcasters and production companies to make sure that they're paying attention and that they, they do genuinely care. There are a lot of broadcasters that can often say they care and it can just look like a tick box and exercise. And there's others that go out of their way to ensure that they create schemes, initiatives and programmes that do keep the door open and allow new talent to come in. Because I want to see more black and Asian execs and series producers within television because they're the ones who are going to have the, the power to say what's made. However, <coughs> the bigger gatekeepers <coughs> are the controllers and I rest my case. So when you see a black controller, you and <laughs> I say this quite lightly, but when you see a black controller or an Asian controller, they are making decisions and they will start to, uh, you know, it will be a sort of dribble down effect as opposed to a trickle down effect. It's not about hood rats. It's not about, you know, gangsters. It's just about lifestyle. Young people having fun and stuff like that, relationships which everyone can relate to. And I think if there's more programs, made like this or written in this way and you approach the right people for the TV executives then you know it can come through because what's coming through is the wrong material mm -hmm. and it's just going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating. If I'm not as good as Eddie Murphy or as Martin Lawrence or as Chris Tucker I ain't ready yet right that's how I that's how I saw it and that's how I see it right so um, I, I, people will come up to me and say, oh, I've got this tape, this, this hip-hop track, what do you think of it? And I'll say, okay, I'll tell you what you can do. I want you to put, your, put a playlist of all the tunes that you think are banging and then put your tune in there. <laughs> right? <laughs> and just play it with your friends, just play it in the car. <laughs> and if your friends stop and go, who's this? <laughs> like, what is this rubbish? Because, mo because the, you, and you, you, can, you can attest to this, you, you, they'll send you something, and it sounds like they made it in their bedroom. Mm. And, and they're, they're, they're their own critic. They go, rah, this is, my friend told me this is banging. And I say, okay, so play that. So if it sounds like a bit East Coast, play it after a, a Jay-Z track, one of his weaker tracks. Just play it after that. And, sit, and then play another track, and then play an MOP after that, so it's in the middle. And see if it sounds terrible, or if it sounds like, because if it doesn't sound on par, then you ain't ready yet. Right? So this is what I'm trying to say with the talent. You, you, you have to do not believe the hype just because you see somebody make it. You're going to see that in any forum. You're going to see somebody make it without the talent, but you will see them fall just as quick. Yeah. This is Senusha Global, and what you've been watching are excerpts of a discussion on the challenges of getting African and Caribbean stories on mainstream media in the United Kingdom. We'll pause here for a moment. Still ahead, Senusha's best-known comedy outfit towards Florida and Texas. We will hear of the avenues being opened up to Europe through Martinique. Stay tuned. The Ministry of Tourism, Heritage and Creative Industries presents the National Performance Program, Employment, Training, Talent Development, calling all interested poets, dancers, musicians, artists and models. This is the National Performance Program. For more information, call us at 468-4644 or email us at www.creativeindustries.govt.lc. Miku Mase, Ezak Pawe, Lusha Mase, every Thursday, Said Lusha, this Thursday and every Thursday from 5 to 11 p.m., Miku Beach comes alive. Seafood, music, dance, poetry, your fashion, live performances, and more. This Thursday and every Thursday, 5 to 11 p.m., Miku Beach, it's bottom. Come see, come sample, come taste. Yes, it's true. Everything's sweeter down in Miku. You want to know what's so special about Creative Industries? I have a friend. She stays at home and gets orders on her phone. She gets on the bus, goes to the beach, takes a stick. Then she writes in the sand. 
so and so loves so and so, or will you marry me whoever? Or if someone wants to advertise their company with an authentic tropical background and they are in winter somewhere around the world, she takes the picture. They pay her online like 10 US a picture. So if she does 10 pictures a day and goes to the beach five days a week, that's over five grand a month. No pollution, no office, no stress. Creative, innovative. But that's what creative industries is about. My loving for I with you from my side Our love will never die This is Senusha Global. I am Naima Faswa. Today our focus has been on the avenues being explored in the United Kingdom for the Caribbean's creative sector. Those discussions took place at a networking session hosted by the St. Lucia High Commission there. The ever popular comedy group Chekapesh has for a few years now been entertaining St. Lucians residing overseas. Their highly entertaining comedy specials are in big demand. They have seized the opportunity whenever it presents itself to export their services. And this year is no exception as the group heads to Florida and Texas. Here to talk a little about that experience is group leader and frontman for Chekapesh, Carlton Cyril, popularly known as Cox. Uh, my name is Carlton Cyril, um, stage name Cox, and I'm affiliated with the group um, Chekapesh. Of course, I'm a director in the group and one of the lead actors, well, the lead actor for the group um, Chekapesh. Bishop, Cox, <laughs> Makai do ça hier. Prêtez-moi pyjama ou souple. Prêtez ou pyjama. Oui, Bishop. Cox pyjama pas pas servi ou. Moi dormi toi. Prêtez-moi pyjama ou Bishop. Cox, Cox, t'allez, t'allez, t'allez. Et si vous ne prêtez-moi, vous allez tel et bitu, vous allez vraiment ou ça, Bishop. Cox, ça qui veut ou. On allait, n'aï do ça hier, Bishop. With Matnik, now that Matnik is on board, um, I could see if we do uh, what we have to do, if we set the groundwork, um, foundation has been set. We took part in a festival at Parc de Floral in um, Fond de France where there was that um, cultural exchange and we performed for half an hour. For my set map, and you know what to do. You want to say that you want to say that you want to say that. Help! 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 You want to say that you want to say that. You want to say that you want to say that. Oh, 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 oh. That's the best. Qui ça ou te ka di help ou? De kok ma ki te be mwen. Ek le mwen bien ve mwen yon se tante ou yon se papa ou. But now that we have that opportunity, I guess it would be, onus would be on people like Dr. Suma, right? To make that available, to have the avenue. You know, because as anything else, we have the language. Um, which is something we have in common. If we could get the proper exchange in being invited to do the festivals and whatnot and we expose, then through the festival, I believe, on our own, now that people could see what we have to offer as a cultural exchange, we could start going, you know, Matnik and then look at Guadeloupe and look at um, France as a bigger market. So I do believe there's potential in that, providing we put the proper infrastructure in place and we have the proper foundation. Carlton is excited about the possibilities being created now that Martinique is a member of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS. Oui. Okay. C'est <laughs> I mean it, it does add um, something, uh, needless to say, the foreign exchange. I mean, most of the times I would say we do get a healthy following, the crowd there. And it, it does, it does, um, like I was saying, our overheads are less. Um, and, and so it's almost like um, we establish a relationship with those places we go. 
So you find when you go there, the news is out and people, you know, looking forward to that element that they do not have up there. So it's almost like we do not have a competition per se because we introducing our people to their culture. And it's something like they've been missing, especially those persons who never have plan of coming back. It, it gives them a foresight. So, yes, there is that um, um, factor. I mean, it is uh, financially, it is uh, beneficial. Not all the time we do get the sellout crowds, but when you do, um, very beneficial to the group. Um, it has helped us, for example, get um, a lot of our equipment, which we, is needed um, at the point of like mics and, uh, and stuff. Um, it, it does help. Madam, it's Matteo Wano. Calite betis, Gialessa. Mwenki mama, Stephanie say ish. Could you step back, please? Eh, eh. It is step back. Well, Eglas, Eglas, do what you right. Do what you right. Do what you right. It is step back. Mweko tola. Es mweko tola. Kwa mwenye mwenye step back. Mwale, mwale kapetu. No, knife on my back. Put your hands on No, put your hands off my face. Okay, my hands off your face. Get, just get back up for back me, Back up. I've heard back up, Lana, back up. No back up. Where Ignace, where Ignace? For Hapu and Mongobot. That was Carlton Cereal of Checkerfish. Their overseas tours have now become an annual affair and they are hoping to sell more tours and more videos as the group becomes better known in the diaspora. That too should be your mission, whether you are a model, a fashion designer, author, musician or craft producer. We urge you to speak with the Ministries of Creative Industries, External Affairs and Commerce and the Trade Export Promotion Agency to discuss how you too can be export ready. We will continue the conversation in the next episode of St. Lucia Global. See our Facebook page for details. I am Naima Faswa. See you next time.